Uh, good morning, my name's Kath Hilliard. I'm a Detective Chief Inspector from Elizabeth CIB. I'm here to talk to you that firstly about um, the release of some CCTV um, relating to an aggravated serious criminal trespass at uh, Willison Road at Elizabeth South on the early hours of Tuesday the 15th of May. Um, police attended the premises at about 2.45am on Tuesday the 15th of May. Investigations have identified that two men, uh, one armed with a firearm, attended the house. They forced entry to the house through the front door. Whilst in the house, a shot was discharged from the firearm. The men stole property from the house and left the house. Police are releasing the CCTV and appealing for members of the public with any information to assist the investigation to contact Crime Stoppers. Uh, members of the public can contact Crime Stoppers on uh, 1800 333 000. They can also contact Crime Stoppers online through www.crimestoppers.com.au. What are we One question, please. What's the um, there are a number of lines of inquiry that detectives are investigating, um, and it would be speculative to determine any one particular line of inquiry at this point. Were they known to the man inside? Um, the men are not known to the victim inside. Was it random then? Um, this appears to be an isolated incident. Um, however, uh, what I can say is the victim was uh, traumatised and it was a terrifying experience for him. So a targeted attack? Yes, it was. Why uh, was the shot fired? Um, police are still investigating those lines of inquiry and it's too early to determine at this point. Um, the uh, men stole property belonging to the occupant, uh, personal property. So mobile phone, wallet, that sort of thing? Okay. Precisely. Do you have any links to organised crime or drugs? There are no links to organised crime at this point of time. Um, however, we are looking at all types of lines of inquiry in relation to the investigation. Neighbours see anything at all? Um, the incident occurred at 2.45 or 2.35 in the morning. Um, so most of the nearby uh, residents were fast asleep at the time. However, we have conducted door knocks in the area to try and ob obtain as much information as possible. No neighbours or houses had video that you uh, um, Well, we have the CCTV which we're releasing today, which is our best opportunity to ask uh, people uh, to provide any information in relation to the identities of the males. Do you still believe it was a case where the shot was fired through the bedroom door while it was closed and there's a victim inside the bedroom? Um, the victim was inside a room at the time, um, however we're still determining the nature as to how the shot was discharged. Was he inside the room that they fired the shot into? Uh, the victim was in the room. And where was that um, vision from? What camera was that? From the victim's house or another house? Uh, the vision is from the victim's house. Sorry, just obviously the initial media release said that a shot was fired through a bedroom door. Is that still the case? Is there a permission note of that? Can we still report that accurately? Yes, yes, it's, it's shot uh, it is shot through a bedroom door. How old is the man, the victim? Uh, the victim is in his late 30s. Do you believe, or does the victim believe the shot was fired to intimidate him? Um, as I said earlier, we're still investigating the nature as to how the shot was discharged. Did the two men speak to the victim? Um, I don't have any details in relation to a conversation. Naturally, the victim was uh, terrified at the time and so we're still exploring uh, um, all aspects of his recall. What do we see in the CCTV? Um, what you can see is the two men uh, entering the property and then also leaving the property. And we also have uh, released some images from a week prior to the incident, um, occurring shortly after 3 a.m. on Monday the 8th of May. Um, the victim was able to identify uh, through CCTV following being alerted to a noise uh, that two men were in the rear yard of his premises. Do you believe they're the same men? It's very difficult to uh, discern uh, the, whether the, the men are exactly the same. Um, however, what we can say is, is that the clothing is similar in style. Did he approach the men or did he only just see it by the CCTV afterwards? Um, he observed the CCTV um, uh, however, of, of course, it uh, created some anxiety for him and, uh, and he did take some sort of action. 